I want to introduce a project to the channel that is way bigger. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ed Gasket. We are in the garage today. You'll notice a major echo and that's because I either don't have enough tools or equipment in here or I don't have enough projects. And I can tell you there's no change in the amount of equipment but there certainly is a project lacking and that's because everything that I currently own is for sale. Now I think I should make an addendum to that claim. It's not everything that I'm selling. It's all the things that you've seen on the channel recently that include the 2002 Jeep Wrangler, the 2005 2500 HD, and one other major project that kind of breaks my heart to sell, but I'll share with you in a moment what that is. So the person who came to buy the Jeep was really cool. She was actually buying it for her 16-year-old daughter on her birthday. It was a great story, and I'm sure that her daughter is really loving that Jeep right about now. And one of the really cool things about this channel is that if you buy a car from me, you can see the videos yourself. You can see exactly all the work that I've done. And I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not out here to make a bunch of money. Two-directional drill. You run it backwards, the numbers go down. I'm just here to have a good time, and that's exactly what we're doing. Hey guys, a little update. The Jeep Wrangler right there is sold. I just went inside that shady looking building and signed uh, it away to the new owner. So she paid me on PayPal, which is a huge no-no as a seller. You should never do that. And I just did it. So it's gonna take five days for me to get my money. In the meantime, I signed away all of the information. So she not only owns the vehicle, um, but I, didn't get any money yet for it. So you can see there's potential here for a big problem. So hopefully we don't have one of those and we can move on to our next project. Wow, a little risky, Ed. Good thing was that money cleared the bank and we can move on to selling our next vehicle, which is a little bit interesting because I already sold this truck once in a previous video and I have some updates, so check it out. Now the second vehicle I'm selling is my 2500 Chevy truck. Of course, you're probably thinking you already sold that vehicle and it was sold, but I had to cancel the sale to move my air compressor that I talked about in the last video. The truck is now again sold, unfortunately this time for far less than the previous sale because I've developed a new check engine light and new buyers don't like check engine lights, but that's all good. I'm ready to move on from this thing and honestly chasing a new check engine light isn't that interesting for content. So I'm gonna get out of this truck and get to work. The new buyer's gonna come pick it up. Of course, I'm just gonna leave the keys in it. We already exchanged dollars. This is effectively the last time I'm gonna see this Chevy truck, kind of sad. Interesting thing about selling that truck is I forgot to take off the license plate. So when the owner came to pick it up, I was inside working and I left the keys in it. We had already exchanged money the night before, so I said, just take it home. And he said, I'll leave your license plate on the curb for you and you can come get it whenever you get a moment. Well, within an hour, the local police had called me and said, hey, we saw somebody walk up to your truck, take the license plate off and throw it in the grass and drive away. And that's a common theme when people commit crimes, they'll then drive their crime-related vehicle somewhere else, take the license plate off, swap it for another one, and then go about their business. So I had some explaining to do, but I was in a shirt and tie. Not that that has anything to do with people who commit or don't commit crimes, but within a few moments, the officer just gave me my license plate and said, interesting story, sir. So having just sold two vehicles and having an empty space in my garage, I was looking for a new project, and I found it on eBay. It was maybe 11 o'clock at night, I was laying in bed, and I found a 2006 BMW M6. And if you don't know anything about that car, it's a really cool piece. It's 500 horsepower. It's a V10, it's naturally aspirated, which is unusual. In today's world, everything is like V6, turbo, and you can still get the 500 horsepower, but you just don't get that same V10 sound. So I actually bid on that vehicle. I did check the Carfax, it was all good. It was, of course, it's what, a, almost a 15-year-old vehicle, so it comes with some risks, and I bid $13,000 on that car, and I won it, and actually messaged the owner, and I said, why don't I come tomorrow and get it? And he said, unfortunately, I need a couple days, maybe I have to wait until the weekend until I have availability. So I spent the next few days doing a ton of research. I already knew a lot about the car, but I found out that at the 60,000 mile marker, which is right around where this car was, this car needs a service that includes rod bearings. And the service for that job, including some other small things, is nearly $6,000 in labor plus parts. Now, of course, I wanted to do the job myself. Just in parts, it was like two grand. And because of that, um, I know I like working on cars, but the last thing I want to do is get involved in a motor rebuild on a car that I've never even driven. And I just had a really weird feeling about this car, so I backed out, and I hate doing that, but I'd rather be out like 100 bucks that eBay might find me 
than 13 grand. So it was a little bit impulsive and I backed out of that project and that's why the garage remains empty to this moment. But not empty enough, actually. We have one more thing I gotta show you underneath that cover that I'm gonna sell. So underneath this disheveled looking cover that is an old jet ski cover is my 1985 Honda three-wheeler. Now I told myself I would never sell this thing, um, but it's funny when we do that to ourselves because I plan on selling this thing now that it just sits around. I did think I would hold on to it and maybe put it in my office and it would like sit next to my computer desk and I would look at it and say, hey, wow, this is the three-wheeler that built my YouTube channel, but I'm just gonna abandon it just like that. Actually, it's not ready to be abandoned just yet. I have to restore the exhaust. I did replace the exhaust. When I did the build, I had an aftermarket exhaust on there and I didn't like how loud it was and it wasn't very factory feeling. Not like everything on here is factory, but it just didn't seem right. And I couldn't even idle it and stand next to it and talk to somebody because it was so loud. So I replaced the exhaust with one that I found that was in great shape. It just needs to be restored. So we need to sand this thing down, paint it black, and then get it reinstalled. You can see there's a fuel tank missing as well. And that's because after this fuel tank was powder coated, there was a lot of residue inside the tank from the powder coat, a lot of dust. And I noticed in the fuel circulating, there was like particles. So I drained all the fuel out of the tank, cleaned it all out. And now it's all ready for reinstallation. So let's get this three wheeler back together once and for all, and then move forward with selling it. How much we're going to sell it for, I have no idea. What I can tell you is that I'm over five grand in this thing in parts. Of course, you can't find any of these parts. So if I ask five grand for this thing, which is what I have into it, actually, I think I'd have to go back to the video. I may have more than that. I want to let you know that the complete build total for this 1984 Honda three-wheeler was $5,886.82. Maybe closer to six grand. I probably have, I don't know, hundreds of hours in this. So let's just uh, forget it ever happened and sell it. By the way, the reason I'm selling everything and haven't acquired a new project, I mean, obviously I bailed on that BMW build, but is mainly because I want to introduce a project to the channel that is way bigger. So humongous big, right? Than anything I've built thus far.
Well, it's back together and it looks really good. Unfortunately, I'm having a small problem with the way that it's running. It starts fine, it idles fine. Somewhere around half to three quarters throttle, this thing's bogging out just a little bit. And what that means is it's either the main jet or it's the needle position or maybe there's some sort of air intake problem or a leak, but it's probably those first two issues. Now, I only have a few days left before this next project gets to the garage. So I'd really like this thing gone because the new project isn't gonna fit in the garage in its current configuration. I really wanna move this workbench around and where this thing sits is sort of in the way. So I am willing to give it away at at least a partial discount compared to what I would want if I was willing to wait for the right buyer. The alternative is I take it all apart and part it out. Now I'm more likely to get my money back if I do that but it's kind of a shame to take such a cool machine apart. Now, as it sits in its entirety, it's for sale for $4,000. Of course, that's a pretty significant loss in terms of what I have into it. Um, but yeah, that's just a loss. That's what that is. If it doesn't sell in a couple days before our new project gets here, I'm just gonna take it all apart and list the parts on eBay one at a time. So if you want this machine as it sits, hit me up on Ed Gasket Garage and I'll let you know if your offer is reasonable and if you can come take this machine from the garage. Otherwise, anticipate a large number of really nice Honda 110 parts to be for sale on eBay over the next few days. So guys, with two out of three projects sold and the third one begging for its new owner, it could be you, hit me up if you want to submit an offer. This side of the garage is now begging for its new project. If you want to know what that project is, hit up Ed Gasket Garage on Instagram because it will, of course, be revealed there before our YouTube channel. If you don't like Instagram, then I guess just subscribe to Ed Gasket on YouTube and I will reveal what that project is. It's guaranteed to be the biggest project to date. Otherwise, guys, hit up edgasket.com if you want a really cool, pretty typical looking t-shirt. And if you don't, um, Otherwise, guys, if you need us between now and our next video, which is guaranteed, to be the coolest video on this channel to date, we'll be in the garage.